Robert. He was hanging out with his friends and they were actually getting an old gypsy lady drunk and trying to get her to tell their fortunes and all of a sudden the gypsy pointed her finger at this young Robert and said, you're gonna live to see your children and your grandchildren. And basically it just freaked him out. And so kind of half in jest and half being serious, he kind of got all his friends to go and kind of harass the local church that was gathering, the Methodists. And while they were there, he heard this sermon by a very famous and gifted preacher named George Whitfield. And George was preaching on Matthew 3, 7, O generation of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Now, later he said that, you know, I went there to basically have pity uh, on those poor, deluded people, but I walked away envying their happiness. So a couple of years went by, and finally, in Robert's own words, he found full and free forgiveness through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And he started to actually preach and tell other people about that free and full uh, forgiveness. And a couple of years later, he wrote the song. Come thou fountain, every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy, never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnets, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I fixed upon it, out of God's unchanging. I'm singing this morning the original words that he wrote so many years ago and one of the lines that's been taken out of the way that we normally sing the song these days goes like this here I raise my Ebenezer what's that hither by thy grace I've come well not too long after the passages that we're celebrating uh, here at Church in the Palms and Judges, there's a story in a book called Samuel. And Samuel, after winning this important victory, sets up a stone and calls it Ebenezer, which means stone of help. And he says, this rock is going to remind us that God has been helpful to us, that he's been our help thus far. And when Robert wrote these words to this beautiful hymn, he said, I want to set up a spiritual Ebenezer in my heart to remember that it's God who has conquered Satan in my own heart. And so he wrote these words to represent God's help in his life. Here I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy grace I'm come, and so I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue from danger interposed with precious blood. Oh, to grace how a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee. To wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Now, here's a verse that we don't ever sing in churches these days, but that he wrote when he wrote that song. Listen. Oh, that day when, freed from sinning, I shall see thy lovely face. Clothed in, in blood-washed linen, how I sing thy sovereign grace. Come, my Lord, no longer tarry, 
Take my ransom soul away And send thine angels now to carry me to realms of endless day about Robert. You know, he was, he lost his dad when he was eight years old. He was disowned by his grandfather. And I already told you a little bit about what his life was like before he decided to follow Jesus. And I hope that helps you to sing these words about, you know, prone, being prone to wander in kind of a new and fresh way. Because it was about his own life, these words of proning, being prone to leave the God I love. But there's a little more to the story. When he went on in life. He actually ended up having 12 children, and one of them, unfortunately, at 17-year-old, his daughter died, and he had financial struggles, and just, we don't know all the things that happened, but he basically became very mentally unstable, very unhappy in the the final uh, days of his life. And there's a story, it's kind of hard to verify this, but there's a story that's told of him being on a train Uh, with a young woman who, kind of to break the monotony of the trip, began to sing this song, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, Tune My Heart to Sing Thy Grace, and so on. And at the end of the song, someone asked him what he thought of the song, and his response was, Well, I'm the unhappy man who wrote that hymn many years ago, and I would give a thousand worlds if I had them, if I could feel now as I felt then. So I tell you that to let you know that people who wrote these songs were real people who had real struggles just like you and just like me. And so it just gives such power and life to these words when we sing, Oh, to grace, how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let your goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee because I am prone to wander, Lord. I'm prone to leave the God I love. So here's a great prayer for you today. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. 